welcome back guys my name is gagan thakur and we are going to start from the place where we left okay so i did try to debug the application somehow it's failing so i need i, I think i need to restart the machine but we can do that later so let's proceed okay now so this is the first uh, prompt that we are going to play which says that uh, uh, uh thank you for calling uh, practice one okay so this is the one now after that you know we want to go to uh, the next menu where uh, we will ask uh, uh, the caller to enter their account type whether you know they are a new customer or a saving account customer account or credit card okay so now here we need to do two things we need to first uh, play something from uh, to the caller and then also wants to collect something from the caller right so in case of audio when we try to use audio it only plays the message it doesn't collect anything from them but now what we are trying we are trying to collect something from them for that we need to use something else okay a different element so here if you see there is something called menu okay and in the menu we have uh, 10 options two options three options so like whatever options you want to create like in this case i want to collect four options right it could be a new customer saving account current account a credit card okay so i'm going to use and the one with four account okay so i'll just just put it here okay and i will you know change the this so play welcome will point to this okay uh, and uh, then I will simply first align them okay and now you can also change the name of this element okay you can you can change the name of this element if you want so uh, I'll, I'll follow the same practice so I'm going to name it something like account type DM okay so I'll give the same name here uh, account type DM I'm, I'm pressing F2 for rename okay you can just right click and also rename or you can press F2 okay so account type uh, DM now it is okay uh so let's let's first specify what prompt it's going to play okay so you can specify the prompts here in the audio audio group initial and audio item one okay so here you, you can specify which prompt you want to play okay here also i'm going to use tts i'm not specifying uh, anything in the uri okay so i'll simply go to tts and i'll say uh press one for new customer okay so right now we are assuming that it is a dtm application we are not collecting any voice but the element that you, we have used this voice element it can also collect voice okay so we can say press one or say new customer if if you are a new customer okay press two or say savings if you have a savings account savings account with us okay press 3 or say current if you have a current account with us okay press 4 or say credit card if you have our credit card okay now so what verbiage whatever i'm writing here whatever prompt we are uh, we are playing you know this is something i'm writing uh what what is coming to my mind but you know it is also a very important factor when developing an ivr application that what kind of prompts you want to play you know you 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 should not use repetitive words you should not annoy the caller it should be short crisp and meaningful okay so that is also one thing that is in picture so um before we actually start creating uh, uh the call flow you know before that only we specify the prompts and everything we you know in in the in the before it, it comes before that like what prompts we want to play what what are going to be the names of the prompts or the elements everything okay so we are just doing randomly but this is not how it works okay now this is what it's going to play now what ha what should happen when they press one or say new customer so we'll go to uh here to the settings okay now here there are certain settings that you'll see so let me talk quickly about them no input timeout that means you know if they don't say anything for five seconds you know we will uh we will not keep on waiting for them we'll just wait for five seconds and if they don't say anything we are going to do something max no input count like how many no in no input we are going to allow okay so let's say uh, the call started we are waiting for them they are not saying anything we'll wait for five seconds then we play something then they are not saying anything we'll again play something 
and then if they don't say anything if if we reach the no input count of three we will end the call or whatever operations we want to do so that is the max no input count max no match count is something you know if they give me a wrong input like i'm expecting one two three and four what if they are pressing five that is not something i'm expecting okay so if they give me more than uh, two to three uh, three um, and uh, wrong inputs i will end the call or you know do something okay now confidence level is something which which is useful in case of voice so you know um, when when you speak something uh, let's say you're in a very noisy um, environment or uh, you're speaking with a low confidence like you are speaking very slow the system will not guess okay it's a machine it will not guess okay so there is a threshold that we have said that that if the confidence is less than 0.4 don't accept the input okay so your your voice has to be confident enough okay so this is something which will be taken care of by the recognizer okay and disable hot links so hot links are like if i want to uh, you know go to a particular place so i will talk about hot links will not uh, discuss today okay so let's let's move ahead and and see this so dtmf option one dtmf okay so when they press if they press one or they can say new customer okay if they press one or say new customer i want to return the the label as new customer okay I'll, I'll tell you what exactly is this new customer okay if they press two or the savings okay so i'm specifying like what what should happen if they press one or say new customer they will either press one or they will speak new customer not both of them okay if they press two or say savings what should happen so you know we will we are returning something like uh if they so this is what should be returned from this this element okay if they press three or say current okay so what should be returned so we are returning a value called current right now okay and if they press four or say credit card or say credit card so i am returning here credit card okay now so this is done okay now uh for now let's say that you know uh, uh just to make it very simple i'm I, i'm just going to place four pps okay four four audios here uh so let's say so i'll just drag and drop audio one audio two audio three audio four so how will we get to know that what did they say or what did the press okay for that we have we are having this audio i'm just connecting option one here if they say option one here if they go for option two go here if they go for option sorry if they go for option four go here and if they go for option three go here okay so in in option one we said it's a new customer so you know i will rename this to new customer pp okay uh, and uh, for two we said the savings okay so i will say savings account pp okay uh three it was current account so i'll say current account pp and uh, for four it was credit card so i'll say credit card pp okay so and then uh i'll i'll simply arrange them just so they look good um this is this has nothing to do with how the call flow behaves you know this is just an obsession of a developer <laughs> uh so okay so this is uh this this is how uh, it's going to happen now if you see it's still complaining something you know this yellow sign you see here it's complaining it's complaining because you're saying that you know where should i go after this so i'm saying for now go to hang up okay so hang up means you know it will end the call so i'll say go to hang up go to hang up and go to hang up okay now one more thing we we actually put it here but what are we playing here so right now let's play something here so i'll go to this i'll go to here 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 i'll say great new customer a uh, new customer okay this is what i'm playing here okay it goes here i'll uh, play the play similarly the same kind of stuff great savings account savings account okay uh, go here audio initial audio item create current account 
current account okay and in case of credit card i'll say simply audio credit credit card why we are doing this just to so that you know we know that what user said okay so if he says uh, if he presses one it will play uh, new customer congrats new customer it, if it presses two it will say uh, congrats savings account or if he says uh, three if he presses three or says current account will we will say uh, congrats current account something like that okay so it will actually help us to understand what's happening in the call flow and now you still see one uh, yellow element here well, yellow sign here because there are two states which are still remaining maximum match and maximum input so we have to tell this element uh, the menu element like what what should we do if the caller don't uh, like the if, if the caller uh, don't say anything uh, for for three times or if the caller gives me wrong input for three times what should we do why only three times because here if you see we have specified the count of maximum match and maximum input to three you can change it to one two whatever okay so for now just for the simplicity i'll just say hang up the call okay ideally we don't hang up the call we play some meaningful message but i'm just start i'm saying hang up the call okay and uh, there you go so you can also change the direction of the arrows to make the text more readable something like this okay so that's that's the thing now the flow is completed it's a fully functional working application if i right click if i say validate if it validates that means it's working my debug is still not working so we'll keep on continuing the flow okay and i'll show you the debug option later so that's it for now in the next video we will uh, introduce subflow and add more complexities to this okay thank you so much